you put it in just the way the cutout is just like that okay then um, take your little bar <clears throat> I'm not sure what it's called but uh, it keeps the the bolt uh, it keeps the bolt open when you run out of shells and there's like a little there's a little pin or there's a little uh, uh, tab on the end of it that goes under that spring so make sure you don't lose the spring when you're doing this okay and it's going to go in the cutout in the receiver just like that so as the bolt moves that's going to move like that so make sure that's in there now there's also a hole back here you want to make sure that is lined up with the corresponding hole in the receiver and take your barrel and your uh, the in uh, the breech block make sure that the barrel's flush and that it's not loose <clears throat> then flip it over and there's that uh, 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 pin I told you about that can drop out that goes in the hole in that little bar and lines up just like so and it should should kind of click into place just like that okay now I'm going to take your uh, top cover and it goes in just like this and lay it in this little groove back here then take your uh, your guide rod there's little cutouts and that lays on these little uh, grooves right there and it's going to have a tendency to kind of wobble. That's okay. Don't worry about that right now. Just just make sure it's lined up. Take the magazine release. Make sure that the there's like a little there's a little raised area. That's going to that's going to go towards the front of the gun. And stick it in this little hole right here until it's just kind of lined up and it's flush with the back of the catch. Now you're going to take the other half of the receiver and using that as a guide line this up there we go and press it together until it snaps together just like that and you'll know if you've got it together right if it snaps together because if it's not life everything's not lined up especially this little nut right here on on uh, on the inside that that holds the handguard spacer if that's not lined up right it's not gonna snap together I don't care how many times you do it okay now at this point you want to hold it together um, with your hands okay now uh, take one of the uh, upgrade screws and its corresponding nut and start it about one thread just like that and then stick the nut into the indent on the back side of the uh, the magazine area and unscrew it so that way the nut is in the uh, indention there now hold it with your finger flip this over and put in your new screw once you've got it you, you want to make sure that you're holding the nut on the back side to make sure it doesn't pop out because you want it to be flat <clears throat> as you start screwing it in. Take your uh, Allen wrench, if I can find the right one. Here we go. And as you start screwing it down, make sure that's. Uh, that nut is flush on the back side. Tighten it down. And there you go. So now it's, it, the entire gun is held together by this screw so far. Alright, now at this point you've only got one assembly screw in. You want to take the uh, spring, slide it over that guide rod until it sticks. Take your uh, your cocking tube assembly and front sight post and slip it over the end of the barrel 
just like this and you want to line it up with that little groove get that spring in the end of the uh, the caulking tube and push it in until it snaps in just like that now you might have to hold it because it's going to be under spring tension but you shouldn't have to okay there we go now at this point you want to repeat the process of what you did here with these two holes not the top one these two so take a nut screw it onto its corresponding screw stick it in the detent release it flip it over screw it in and you want to do this just for those bottom two holes not the top one yet Now on this top screw, you're going to want to use that longer assembly screw um, because the cutout on this back side is not as deep as the other two. So what I usually do, or what I have done, is uh, screw this one in <clears throat> just until it reaches the other side, not all the way through. while you're trying to film yourself here all right and kind of hold a, a finger on the other side so you know when it's coming through and then just when it's about to reach that other side about like so take your nut line it up and go the rest of the way and make sure you're holding it the whole time this one's going to be the hardest one to make sure that it's flush because it's going to try to move on you just a little bit. There we go. And you'll 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 know when it engages the nut because it'll get easier. So just go ahead and tighten that down. About like so. And there you go. want to make sure this one's good and tight but don't strip them out they're hard to get out if they're stripped for sure okay so you've got these three and this one now you'll repeat the process on this rear assembly screw Reinstall the rear sight. Don't want this to be too tight. Just enough that it's not going to move. And then reinstall your handguard spacer screw. If you're using an RIS, um, you probably won't have this installed. So, in that case, disregard and just until it's tight alright at this point um, you've concluded the receiver portion of the upgrade and the uh, the reassembly Ch check the functioning of all the components that you've installed your rear sight your uh, the magazine release the, uh, the the cocking handle and just make sure that all of your uh, all of your uh, 